to All Things Woman, where I discuss femininity, life advice, and overall womanhood confidence. I teach you how to be confident as a woman and how to grow in your femininity. If any of that interests you, hit the like button and share this content. Also, hit that notification bell so that you are aware when I drop new content. Feminine women must be a challenge. That is the topic of this video. We must be a challenge, but hear me out. We are not a challenge in a toxic way like many women are. We are not a challenge as in we like to play games with men, play games with people, manipulate people, and cause chaos and be, as I've heard my brother say in another video, agents of chaos. We are not um, trying to be agents of chaos. When I say feminine women must be a challenge, I mean that we are not passive aggressive, that we actually uh, put in the forefront what might be bothering us, especially when it comes to our relationships. We do not make things too easy for our men. What do I mean by that? Men do not respect women, in my opinion. Men do not respect women that they can walk all over. And contrary to popular belief, being feminine does not make you a doormat. It doesn't make you um, a target to be used. It doesn't make you less than any other woman. Quite the opposite. When you operate in your femininity, you understand your value, you understand your worth, and there are certain things that you just will not tolerate as a woman. And because of that, some people will see you as being a challenge, and that's okay. We are all the villain in somebody's story. Um, you cannot, you can't really shape anyone's perception of you. You can only do your best to make sure that you're displaying yourself in a feminine way. However, somebody else perceives that is their problem. But back to um, being a challenge in our relationships with our men. We don't make things too easy for them as in we don't have it where they feel like they can just hand us anything. We have a standard. So... For example, my husband know there are certain things that I just do not like. And, and it doesn't have to be anything big. Um, he brought me home. One day he asked me what did I want. He bought me home a frozen coffee. And I guess they didn't have oat milk. So he went ahead and let them have put almond milk in it. So when he got home, I read the little ingredients list to make sure everything I wanted was in there. And I saw almond milk. And I'm like, honey, I said that I wanted oat milk, not almond milk. The old me would have been like, you know what? That's okay. You know, at least he got me a drink. I'll just drink it. This me, the me that actually wants what I want when I want it, left that drink right there and didn't care about the fact that he spent money for it because he knew that I wanted oat milk, not almond milk. So he decided to waste his money. I didn't waste his money. He did. Later on that day, he went to another Dunkin' Donuts and got me the correct drink. And that's okay. Some people will say, oh, you're so unappreciative. You're so ungrateful. This idea that people in general can just hand you whatever they want and you just accept it because it's the thought that counts. We don't go by that as feminine women. We want what we want. If I tell you, especially when I tell you something specific, I'm not saying if somebody just did something for you out of the kindness of their heart, you shouldn't accept it. But I mean, when you make your request very clear and people still hand you whatever they want to hand you, we don't accept that. We have a standard. And because of that, we might be seen as challenging. It might be something, my Dunkin' Donuts example, that was very small. But it could be something big. I saw, I've seen many like um, TikTok videos and YouTube videos where men are just going out buying houses for women. And when the woman walks into the house, she doesn't like it. They say she's ungrateful. She's, you know, oh, some women in the comments say, I wish I had a man that would just go out and get me a house. It's not the point of the man going out getting the house. It's the fact that he didn't take her opinion into consideration because he didn't feel like she needed to have a say. He just made the decision on his home, on his own. There's one thing for a man to lead. There's nothing wrong with that. But as women, especially in a relationship, we should have a say in certain things that we're going that are going to affect us. If it's something as big as a house, no doubt my husband would never think to go purchase something as big as a house, a car, without consulting me because he knows I like specific things. That's just a matter of respect and it's a matter of, you know, just just valuing your uh, wife's opinion. So, and because of that kind of thing, we might be seen as challenging. And it's okay. I've learned a long time ago that I'm not going to spend my money 
for somebody to hand me whatever they want to hand me. I'm not going to just keep saying I like this when I don't. That's one thing we don't do as feminine women. We don't say we like a certain thing when we don't. And because of that, because for so long, people think that women are just supposed to accept things from the kindness of everybody's heart, we come off as challenging. But it's okay. Even when it comes to um, relationship goals and boundaries and things you want to accomplish, if your man is handing you nuggets when you want a steak, let him know that. It's okay. I guarantee you, he will respect you later. When I started telling my husband, you know, instead of getting me these little bath and body works things, start getting me, you know, actually like perfumes that I'm actually, you know, you know, like actual perfume, perfume, not body splashes. You know, it's time for me to graduate. So, and I know these little things might be small, but they make a big difference because it speaks to the person that you're becoming. You no longer just accept anything. When people ask me, you know, what do you want to eat or how does that taste? Oh, I don't really like it. It's not that good to me. And it's not because I'm setting out to hurt somebody's feelings. It's because I value what I want. So to reiterate, feminine women, we must be a challenge. These were small examples, but it shows the character of who we're becoming. We value ourselves so much so that we don't care about hurting the feelings of other people, especially when they are trying to hand us something that we do not want. If we don't want it, we don't want it. Simple as that. And if that makes us challenging, so be it. Like and subscribe to the channel for more content and share this content. It's okay to want what you want. As a woman, that is your right. And if somebody tries to hand you something that you don't like, please express that in a feminine, dainty way. Oh, honey, I didn't want that. I told my husband, I didn't want almond milk. The almond milk really tears my stomach up. Like, you know that. I don't want the almond milk. I want oat milk. And that drink sat there on the table all day until he went and got me another one that afternoon. Like and subscribe to the channel for more content and share this. Take care.